Hey everyone, so in this episode we're gonna add a little bit more functionality to displaying our posts, viewing them, editing them, and deleting them. So let's go ahead let's go ahead into our controller and where we return our index page, let's grab um, all the posts from the repository. So get all posts, right? Get all posts and uh, all right, so we don't actually need this int id here. Sorry about that. And uh, let's go into our repository. Yeah, we don't we don't even use it. We don't need it. Boom. Sorry about that. All right, and then let's pass this posts to the view. Now, <clears throat> if you are wondering if creating this variable is um, gonna impact performance like is this is this faster and the answer to that is no because at compile time it's gonna say that right this variable is only used here and not, not really used for anything so it's just gonna basically equate it to this but later if we debug it and we need to see what's inside the posts It'll be a little bit easier to put a breakpoint here and, you know, see what's in the posts. But yeah, uh, that's that. And let's go ahead into our views, home index. And let's pass a model. And our model is a, uh, let's make it an enumerable and post. All right. So a list of posts. And okay. Now let's introduce a div. Right. Too much VS code. All right. Introduce a div, and let's just make a list. And now let's do for each. Whoa. So. For each post in model, so our model equals to this, right? So what do we want to do for each is we want to display a list item, and in here let's make a link, and we'll not touch the link for now. We'll just want to display the title of the post, right? Okay, and uh, now let's run this. So run it with control F5, so that will track for changes automatically. So we don't have to run it again. Do 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 do. All right. And cool. So here they are. Now, if you're wondering, like this looks pretty bad. When are we gonna style this? So we wanna imp implement all the functionality first. Because if we style it first and then we introduce more functionality, we'll have to style again. So we'll get all the functionality in first and then we'll style it. So you'll just have to bear with this uh, bad looking website for some time. So great, we have our posts here. Now we want to be able to view and edit this posts, e edit these posts, right? So in the link here, let's type in. ASP controller home ASP action post right we want to get the post and ASP route and ID right and at post dot ID okay <clears throat> so what this is gonna do is let's refresh this Okay, so now you see we can have links, F12 to open developer tools. You can press Control shift c and go into this one. So you can see the route that equates here. So this one here is basically has the value of ID, right? Just automatic. You can put anything here, but I will show you in a minute how this relates to the functionality in the controller. So let's go to our controller and let's go to our post here. And in here, we want to accept an ID, right? So this ID right here 
will pop into our controller action here. Now, we want to get the post, so let's repo and get post, and we want to get post with this ID. Uh, great, and return the post in the view. Okay, so now let's display the post. So again, same as before, we want to accept the model of post. <coughs> Sorry about that. And now let's just do this thing to prevent some intelligence issues. So at model dot title, and let's just get a paragraph and at model dot body. Okay. So let's see what happens. Let's refresh it. So if you'll step over here, ah, actually, it was a little bit too fast, but maybe not. Let's run this again. Control F5. Okay. So let's go to test. There we go. So if we go back, another one. All right. And that's another one. So now we can go to our posts and uh, we can view them. So how about we edit them? All right, so if we go to this one, actually, you can see that it doesn't have any like ID, right? And if we go to edit, we can just make a new post. So let's, um, that's what it's called. Uh, let's go into our layout and let's change these links. So we'll call this, Great post, and um, let's remove this. Okay. So, all right, we have create post. So, if we want to create a post, we can go into here. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's go back into our index page, and let's just say we want to be able to edit a post, right? So let's copy this, let's put it here, and let's say edit, and edit. So we change the action to edit, and inside the edit here, we want to pass an ID, right? So now we want to check if the ID is uh, Basically, we want to say it's nullable because right here, when we create the post, we're not passing an ID, right? So that means that it can be null. There, there, there is a possibility of the ID being missing. So we want to make it nullable. So, for example, here uh, you will see that we get an error that an integer is not the same as a nullable integer. So an integer cannot be null, but a nullable integer can be null. All right, so let's check if id equals null. Just return new post. That's when we wanna create a new post, all right? And otherwise, we wanna get the post. And this is the way you cast it to an integer, right? So this just converts this variable to an integer, right? This is the C sharp syntax for convert uh, casting. So we got the post. Now let's return the view with the post. Okay. So let's refresh, see what happens. Why is it doing that? Refresh again. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's click on edit, and you can see that the body here gets filled up uh, automatically. So if we create a post, boom, cool. And now we want to be able to save changes if the post is basically, uh, if it's an already existing post, we already have an ID, so we don't want to just add a new, the same post, basically. So where we added the post, 
we want to introduce a hidden field, right? So to store the ID, so we can track it. So ASP for and let's say ID, right? Type hidden, right? So if we refresh this, you can't see anything change, but again, here is the input field that's not displayed, and we can have we can see the ID value here. Okay, so since inside the model the ID is not nullable, and it can't be because it's the key, right? It's going to be zero. So if if it's not present, it's going to be zero. So if it's if it's zero. Actually, let's do this else. And if it's more than zero, we want a repo update post post just like so. So here we update the post. Yep. Yep. So let's try it. Refresh. And again, okay, so let's just type in change. Okay, and if we go to that, here's the change, and another one. And we create new, 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 new. Oh, here it is. Right? And if we edit it, hello? There it is. Okay. Okay, so now we need to be able to remove a post. So let's just copy this edit here and put it down here. Um, say remove, and we're always going to have an ID. Now let's get rid of all of this, and now we want to call our remove post from the repository. Await. Oh, Repo save. Obviously, we want the intelligence because I can't type all that out. So, oh. Let's save changes async. And we just want to redirect index, right? So the way we would hit this is the same we would hit the edit, really. So let's copy this link, put it here, boom, remove, um, okay, I'll just keep it at remove, like so, let's run it, okay, there we have it, so now let's try to remove the new post. Boom, and it's done. Okay, so we can remove posts, we can create posts, we can edit them, cool stuff. Okay, this will be it for this tutorial. So, if you enjoy the series, like, subscribe. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll try to answer them all. But for now, uh, I'll see you in the next episode.